Hi, my name is Alan Hutchinson. I'm Dean of Graduate Studies and Distinguished Research Professor at Osgoode Hall Law School, York University. My recent book is titled, Is Eating People Wrong? Great Legal Cases and How They Shaped Law and Society. There were four men adrift in the mid-Atlantic with only two tins of turnips for nourishment. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, but it's the basis of one of the law's most famous cases, Dudley and Stevens. This tale of cannibalism at sea still challenges lawyers, old and new, to reflect on an appropriate basis for criminal conviction and punishment. It's a basic building block of common law. In the common law tradition, the law is supposed to develop piece by piece through decisions of judges in individual cases. Earlier cases, precedents, are to be honored in later cases, but there's often much more at work. The Dudley case shows that common law is less a dry exercise in rule application and more a site for continuing social conflict. It has all the blessings and blights of any human activity. It involves the dynamic interaction of personal character, social context, and historical circumstance. Anything might go, and often does. In the Dudley case, sailors who ate one of their colleagues to survive were convicted. Their defense of necessity was rejected, but they only served a short sentence. The case's backstory, though, involved an officious police officer, a complicit judge, a meddlesome politician, a determined lawyer, and a campaigning public. So the common law is a hit and miss affair. Sometimes works and satisfies society's appetite for justice, and it sometimes doesn't. So a discreet incident, such as buying a drink with a foreign object in it, chasing a fox, or transporting a broken machine part, gives rise to a legal precedent that becomes one of the long-term building blocks of modern law. And other more pretentious happenings, challenging segregated schooling, fighting religious persecution, and defending criminal suspects' rights, have set the law on a course that shapes contemporary thinking today. By showing the common law as the catch-as-catch-can experience that it really is, it's possible to grasp that common law is nothing more, and as importantly nothing less, than what we make it. Common law is no better or worse than the lawyers, judges, litigants, and commentators who populate it. So, is eating people wrong? Well, it's not the eating that's the problem. That's more a matter of personal taste and food regulation. It's killing them first that's the real problem.